Last 25 years, we all have been told this one story. If you have in the life science and biotech industry, or if you've been pursuing a career in life sciences, this story has been told to you multiple times by multiple people, including me. Okay, and that was the biotech boom is coming. But today I'm here to tell you that the biotech boom is here. But the question to be asked is, is biotech boom really here? And what are the warning signs we need to look at? Now, having said that, if I am saying that biotech boom is here, why exactly I'm talking about warning signs? Because for every market, whenever there is a boom, there is a decline. So we need to be careful about the boom. At the same time, we have to be mindful of the decline. Now, there are early warning signs and that's something which I wanted to tell you. Because of AI, a lot of biotech and pharma professionals are jumping into upskilling and reskilling and they are not wrong. They are not wrong because we are now observing a different type of biotech hiring where you are no longer expected just to know the skill set or the tools. You need to know AI and that's one sign of the biotech boom. And at the same time, warning signs that biotech boom can also lead to a meltdown among professionals who are not AI driven or AI equipped. Well, this is first warning sign and this is the first sign of boom because now using AI, computational biology and bioinformatics, we can do things much faster in a speedier manner using a cheaper software. Earlier it used to cost years, right? The opportunity cost and the money spent was in billions of dollars. And that, my dear friend, is going to decline and that's why the boom. Now, having said that, in last one year, 40% of all the science, that is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics applicants are from biotech and life sciences from India. That means 40% of all the applicants who are going abroad for their higher education are doing so from the life science and biotech sector in a hope that gene therapy, computational biology, bioinformatics, AI, synthetic biology is going to take off. And they're not wrong. Let me tell you this. They are not wrong. Absolutely, they are right. But what's wrong is over-enthusiasm and over-optimism. Now, many students in this over-enthusiasm and over-optimism are going and opting for something which is really dangerous and that, and is, that is dead. dead. Many of you are going abroad while your parents are applying for bank loans. My personal fundamental and personal view here is that is danger. Warning sign number two. Agreed that there is going to be a boom, but no boom should be based on the foundation of debt. While you will get a good life in US or UK or Europe, your parents might be dragged into a debt trap, paying student loans, or maybe you are you might get dragged into that, right? So my suggestion to all those students, those 40% of the uh, all science students who are going abroad are life sciences, right? So please don't go out unless you have a scholarship, okay? Now, why exactly these, you know, colleges from foreign are so much uh, happy inviting you because their own crowd is not studying STEM anymore, science they're not studying. Our Students are more talented and they are interested. They are willing to make a career in science. And the governments, they are investing a lot in whatever I told you, gene therapy, uh, computational biology, cancer biology, all of that, right? So go there, but on at the expense of their money, not your parents' money or your parents' debt, okay? Don't get so desperate for success that you push yourself or your parents into a debt trap. Now, one in sign number three is, while code meets cell, okay, that means coding for biologists, that's what uh, we call it, or by Python or Java or Perl or C++, all this merges the artificial science, that's computer science, merges with the life science, the natural science, we will see a boom. But in the middle of this, the warning sign number three is the boom will happen, but it will replace a lot of mediocre biologists. So don't be a mediocre biologist. Upskill, reskill, cross-skill. Recently, a big biopharma company in Bangalore, I will not name them, but you will understand who it is. It's one of the largest bi biotech company in Bangalore. 
they have created a mandate saying that everybody in their organizations which is including scientists should be ai equipped and many of them are now coming to biotechnica doing training projects and they know that if they don't do it they'll get replaced so there is going to be a boom but that boom is going to lead to a lot of cost efficiency for the industry but a lot of layoff can happen that's a warning so get driven by ai get ai equipped okay well, like i said don't get uh, dead, dead trapped now which are the best countries to go you have france you have germany you have uk but uk i'll still not suggest france and germany take a upper hand netherlands uh, new zealand australia uh, sweden switzerland these are some of the best companies ireland also to some extent yes us on the other hand is also welcoming science student in life sciences but there is a catch and the catch again one in sign number four is mr trump now mr president is hell bent to have the opportunities insourced only to americans and that means if you are an outsider there you might face problem all right so a small parking ticket can lead to your expulsion from united states of america so please be mindful okay and again please don't go on a student loan or a, you know uh, and uh, put your parents into debt instead please apply for a scholarship the university must give you a scholarship if you are good enough they should give you that right now there are many rich parents who believe that their children are uh, studying in big schools and big colleges so obviously they should go for a uh, the biggest country in the world remember the biggest country in the world has also got their own problems and that can spill over you so one in sign number 5 you have to dream big but keep your legs you know on the ground don't start flying thinking this will happen that will happen while your basics is not clear you might go there you might get into gene editing synthetic biology pharma research biotech research and then later on uh, you come back and you have to start looking for a job in india so if biotech boom is here the salary range is going to be from 80000 us dollars to 120000 us dollars minimum and it will go up to 200000 us dollars for freshers but if that's going to happen one thing is very very clear if you are already in student debt all that interest will pile up if you are not in the student debt if you if you don't get a job there coming back to india after a abroad uh, education is going to be painful because there is price parity in picture you spent in dollars and now expecting money which is at par with the dollars which you spent which will not happen in india the salary packages are still on a lower side not it cannot match the us dollars because you will convert the us dollars into rupees of course indian salaries are at par with the indian standard of living okay so please don't go abroad and think that if you come back here you will get a lot of salary unless you are a phd the salary brackets will remain the same but of course if you are exceptional you will grow so while the biotech boom is here i want to re- to warn you that it has got its own downsides so you have to choose whether you want to be sidelined by this boom or whether you, whether you want to be the part of this boom right so be mindful biotech boom is here even in india now let's come to india now even in india we are seeing a boom in startup economy there are more than 16000 startups companies like biotechnica biocon singina are growing double digits triple digits and various other companies are also growing right we have um, some of the best companies in india so if you've done your bachelor's and master's properly getting a job won't be a problem getting experience gaining experience won't be a problem you know what will be a problem if you are a mediocre student don't be that you have to be always out of the box you have to think out of the box you have to do things which others cannot do you have to achieve things what others cannot think of and with that i would like to sign off telling you that yes the story which was sold to all of us 25 years ago that the biotech boom will be coming is here thanks to synthetic biology gene therapy computation biology and ai but only for those who are not mediocre so don't be a mediocre bioprofessional upskill yourself with biotechnica's ai internship which is starting from the mu- end of this month more details are pinned in the comment section as well as description check it out otherwise you can whatsapp me at this number thank you take care keep shining bye bye